Hey there! Today I'm going to be showing you a new quiz platform that we started using at Brilliant Business Moms. It's called Interact and we've been really impressed. We had an old quiz platform that we used for our productivity diva quiz and it was pretty nice but there were a lot of features missing that we really wished we could customize more and integrate more with our email provider and things like that. So we discovered Interact and I just kind of want to walk you through how you would create a quiz using them. So this is the quiz that we have right now. What kind of productivity diva are you? And I'll just go in and edit and kind of show you what the interface looks like. You start off with the front page here of your quiz. Obviously you can give it a title and cover image. And one of the things that I really was impressed with with Interact was that there was so much that you could customize. You can take these elements off if you want. You can add a lot of things in and really make it look like your brand to match your brand. So after you'd create your cover, the next step would be to have the different results of your quiz. And there's a lot of different kinds of quizzes that you can make using Interact. The main one we were going for was where it would give different results based on the questions that people answered. So the first thing you would put in is the results, which in our case was the different personalities. So we'll just go into one for example. You have a title, you can add an image. And you can also hide this if you don't want an image, but we've really found that the image is an important part of the results page. If you just go in and edit, it's going to allow you to upload your own image and put one in. Their recommended image dimensions are 1400 pixels wide by 800 pixels tall. We used Photoshop to create our images, but you can use anything like PicMonkey or Canva and create your own result images there. Then you can put in a description which we kind of have our own description here for these different personality types. If you click on this, it allows you to edit it, and they actually have quite a bit that you can customize here. You can bold, you can make things bigger, add bulleted lists. You can actually see here that we have some links. You can add more images in. There's just really a lot that you can customize to get it looking just like you want. And at the very bottom, you can have a call to action button. You can hide this if you want, but in this case, we wanted to link to the Brilliant Life Planner. And this one links to the printable because we're all sold out of the physical planner. But if you're doing a quiz that's related to your product or your site in some way, you can really link up to anything. You can link up to a freebie or to a product that relates to whatever your quiz is about. You just click on this and you can edit the URL and post that right in there. You can edit the color, the text size, just pretty cool. So you can go through and just add all of these different personalities. You just keep hitting add another result. We have quite a few here. And then you'd move on to the questions. And these are the questions that are going to be for your quiz to kind of sort out, you know. In our case, it was matching personality types, but whatever your quiz is related to. And for each question, you have a title. And you can also, we chose not to do an image for each question, but if you were having like a shorter quiz or something where you really wanted a lot of visuals, you can just pop that right in up here. And then you add in your different answers. Ours were pretty uniform, but you can do, you can edit these to really say whatever you want. Once you have all of your answers in for a question, then what you do is you go up to edit result correlations. And this is where you can say, you know, if someone says, I strongly disagree about this, then they're going to match up to somebody over here, one of the results. So depending on what your quiz is about, you're going to have these match up to different things. You can actually have these different answers match up to two different results. You know, if this one, for instance, was supposed to match up with two of the results, you could do that as well. And you just hit save. And that's just kind of how you would set up your quiz. You go through, you create all of your different results and all of your different questions and get those all set up. We have quite a few. This is quite a big quiz here, but you can obviously do this with a shorter quiz. They recommend, I believe, a minimum of 15 questions. They say too much shorter than that and you have too many ties. Like it's not going to really work super well for a quiz, especially if you have quite a few results. So you really want a minimum of 15 questions and obviously as many results as you want. Another great thing about Interact is that you really can brand it to look like your brand, your blog, your shop, whatever your business is. If you go under styles, you can change the background color, the font color, the button color. They even have some different font types. If you have a logo for your shop or your blog, you can add that in there too. And a few of the things that we were really excited about with Interact that our old quiz platform didn't have was that we were actually able to connect up our ConvertKit account. And this means when people finish their quiz, 
they are automatically added, if they choose to opt in, they are automatically added to a sequence and can be tagged inside ConvertKit. So as you can see, our account is already connected, but it was a very easy process, and I'll show you that in just a minute, where you are just gonna grab your API key from ConvertKit and paste that in right here, and Interact will take care of connecting. And then you can edit your lead capture form, and this is where people will see when they get to the end of the quiz. You can add different form fields, but for us, for ConvertKit, we just really care about first name and email. Obviously, you can edit this button to say what you want. And then this, once they complete the quiz and put in their info, this is gonna get sent on to ConvertKit. Another very cool thing about Interact is that you can actually use it to track conversions. So if you wanted to run Facebook ads to this, you know, a free quiz that you're doing for your blog or your site, you wanted to find out more info about your customers, you can actually add the Facebook pixel in right here, and you're just gonna put in your Facebook pixel ID from Power Editor, and you just paste that right in there, which is pretty cool. This would allow you to track leads inside Power Editor. You can also add on your Google Analytics tracking code, and this would allow you to see how many people are visiting your quiz, how long they're spending there, and things like that. And they have a lot more that's coming that we haven't messed with yet, but that should be very exciting. They also have social share settings. This allows people to share your quiz once they're done with it. And this is also where you want to put in the link where your quiz is embedded. And I'll show you that in just a minute. You can customize your social share heading. You can also say what it is. So if you want to say, I got this result for this quiz, you can edit all of that in here. Once you've completed your quiz, you're going to go ahead and publish it. We've already published the quiz, but I could just save and exit. Once your quiz is published, you can go ahead and take a look at the analytics. This will show you how many people have viewed the quiz, how many people have started it, how many people have completed it, and how many leads that you've received for it. It also kind of gives you your conversion rate and your start rate. You can download your leads straight from here if you want. We have ours automatically hooked up to ConvertKit, but if you want to download it, you can as well. Once you're done with your quiz and you're ready to publish, all you're going to do is hit the publish button. It will give you an embed code and you can just take that and grab it and take it right over to your site. Inside WordPress, you just go to Pages and Add New. You don't want to give the page a title because the title is actually going to be embedded right with the quiz code that you're going to post in. You do want to make sure that your URL matches though what your quiz is about. And instead of being on the Visual tab, you want to flip over to the Text tab. And you can see here that I've already pasted our embed code, but you would just paste your own embed code right there. And if you hit preview changes, it's going to show you what this is going to look like on your site. So once you embed your quiz, people can just go ahead and click the button and they're going to be able to go through that entire quiz right embedded on your site. The important thing is to grab that URL though and go back into Interact and make sure that you put that URL on the social sharing page. That way when people go to share your quiz, they get taken right to this original page where you've embedded your quiz. So if you're ready to create your own quiz with Interact, you're gonna go ahead and hit the Create New Quiz button. You can see that they have two types. They have assessments, which test people's knowledge about things, and they also have the personality types. In our case, we were doing a personality quiz, but this assessment could also work for you, depending on what you're trying to do with this type of quiz. We're gonna choose the personality type. We created ours from scratch because we had most of our quiz built but if you're not exactly sure what you want to do for your quiz, you can take a look at some of these templates and they might give you a good starting off point. Once you found one you like, you just hit create from template and that's gonna load it right in here. And obviously you can make edits to the cover image to make this to match your brand or your blog. And you can go through and edit all of your results and your questions, just like we did before. For each quiz is where you'll connect your integration. So in this case, I'm gonna click connect integration we use ConvertKit for our email service provider, but as you can see, Interact offers integrations with a lot of different programs. So if you use MailChimp, you could hit connect here, Zapier, just depending on what yours is. So I'm gonna select ConvertKit here. And one of the really cool things about Interact is that depending on a person's result, you can send them to a different sequence. So you could have a different sequence sent up for di the different types of personalities or results that people get. In this case, we could say that, you know, if someone ended up getting this modern result, we could send them to just the modern sequence, and they would get a different sequence than someone who, say, went with daring. 
in our case right now for our personality quiz, we sent everyone to the same sequence, but eventually we might split that off into the different personality types. So you would just go through and select a sequence for each of these and you just hit save settings and continue. Now we've already connected our ConvertKit account, but what you would do is you would go into ConvertKit in this case, you would go into your account and you would grab your API key. If you're using MailChimp, you can find your API key under your account settings. You would just click on the extras tab and go to API keys. In this case, I already have an API key created, but you could create a new key if you needed to. And you would just copy and paste that over right into Interact to connect MailChimp. You can see that Interact also offers giveaways and live polls. We haven't had a chance to really use these features yet, but it's something we're gonna explore in the future. We've been really happy to see how Interact works and it's just very exciting that it can connect with our email service provider seamlessly and just automatically send those leads over without us having to do any work. It's also really neat that we're going to be able to run Facebook ads to this quiz and track all of those leads to actually see who's signing up and be able to tell how much we're paying per lead. Using quizzes can be a great way to get some interaction with your followers or to gain new leads for your business, your blog, or your shop. If you have any questions, you can just let us know in the comments. And now it's your turn to head out there and be brilliant.